just checked my box and nothing in there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the snow has caused a delivery delay. I don't know. It'll get here when it gets here. My husband and I just went out to check the P.O. box before they closed. You ever go, oh, I've got all day. And then you realize, no, I don't. They close at noon on Saturday. Ah! So I like ran and threw some stuff on because I've just been sitting on the couch watching like YouTube videos and hanging out on Instagram with my girlfriends. And I just lost track of time. I was like, crud, we got to get to the post office before they close. Ah! So we made it there. Now my husband's at an auto parts store. So I'm just going to sit here and chat for a little bit. So I got up, I don't know, 6 o'clock today, 6.30, something like that. Usually our black cat Onyx comes and scrapes on the door because she wants in. She didn't do that today, which was awesome. So I got to sleep a little longer than usual. It was amazing. It is kind of the icky part of winter right now. Like we had the big snow yesterday and now it's all like melty and slushy because the salt and like sand trucks came out. Everything's like melty gross. So it's not pretty on the street, but it's pretty in the yard still. It's supposed to snow again this afternoon, so we'll see what happens. And also, I think the uh, forecast is showing snow for Tuesday. <laughs> Which, you know, if it keeps us out of school again, that would make a five-day weekend. <laughs> so, just sitting here in the car, enjoying the warmth, and looking around at all the people that go to the auto parts store. Wow. This truck over here is covered with mud because they had to go through all the goo to get here. Yep. I'm not sure what our plans are today. We were going to do our Valentine's Day celebration today, but we can't find a movie we want to see. I mean, all the ones that are out at the theater, I'm like, meh. There's one, but I'm like, eh, I'm not dying to see that one. And if I'm not dying to see it, I'll just wait for it to come out on Redbox. We did get a Redbox movie while we were out, and it's the uh, Hunter Killer. It's got Gerard Butler. I like him. He's a good action hero. So I figure if he's in it, it's probably good. This is about basically it's like a Russian coup trying to start World War III and he finds out about it and tries to stop it. So that might be really entertaining. I'm not sure if we're going to go out or if we're going to stay in. I'll keep you posted on that. I think Caitlin might still be asleep. I think I heard her up earlier and then she went back to bed. The cats have been very snuggly today. So at one point we had all of them lay on the ottoman at our feet, which was really sweet. They were just in a kitty pile. And when I went to feed the outside cats, they were all snuggled in their little snuggle boxes. So that was nice. Today is just kind of a kind of day. I don't know. Don't have big plans. I'm kind of tired, but I'm always tired, you know. And I just kind of feel like bumming around, you know, not really having to do anything. I will get my lesson plans done sometime before Tuesday. And I'll probably start on my newsletter because that would make things a lot easier for me. But we only have a four day week, which is nice which we had a four day week this week too. That was really nice. What are you doing today on this fine Saturday, wherever you are? I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing daily vlogging or not, probably for a little bit. Kind of got used to it, but my life is not that exciting. <laughs> so there's really not a lot to share all the time, especially when I'm not doing stuff for school. So we'll just have to play it by ear. I did vlogging times, which was super fun. I really enjoyed that. I need to change my nails. They're getting really janky. Like they're getting like worn on the edges and getting rounded off. They're kind of funny shapes, but it's time. It's time. Valentine's is over. It's time to do something new. So I'll find something new to do because I have plenty. I'm really hoping that the Kiss brand makes the adhesive strips like they put in their impress nails for sale because then think of the possibilities. You could get like Dollar Tree nails and use the adhesive strips instead of glue that would be awesome. There is a lady that's a sweetheart on here and she said she got some adhesive strips from Amazon I do believe. So she's gonna let me know how those go and I might try them too and if I do I'll let you know about them. But thank you Emily for sharing that information with me. I think I may have noticed them before at one point but never really did anything about it. I haven't really read any more on dream class because I've just been too tired to read. You know how that is. You know, you kind of go through the whole school day and like you get home and you just can't, you just can't, <laughs> you can't comprehend, you can't focus, nothing like that. So far, so good. I've read chapter one, which I already told you about. <laughs> I haven't gotten any farther, but I'm excited. There are supposed to be like 15 different keys or tips of things you can do. And so I mentioned that the first one was to set a consistent like way of doing things and just be on top of it all the time, 100% all the time. Like it, whatever you say, that's what you got to do, you know, and just consistency is really super important because if you say, uh, say the class rule is 
You can't chew gum just for something random. And one kid chews gum and you just let it go. Then the next day you're gonna have four kids chewing gum. And you let that go. And then you're gonna have 12 kids chewing gum. And then you go, okay, wait a minute. We're not supposed to be chewing gum in here. And then you got this whole mess on your hands. Whereas if you saw the one kid chewing gum the first day and said, I'm sorry, we don't chew gum in this classroom. Please go spit it out. You're not as likely to have that issue happen again. You just get rid of it right then, which I have had that problem in my class before. You know, a kid comes in from wherever they came from and they have gum for some reason, because I'm sorry, kids can be sneaky. They can hide stuff in their pockets, their backpacks, whatever. Parents don't always know. My kid did the same thing. It's a thing they do. They go through a phase or something where they're just like stuffing all kinds of stuff in their backpack pockets. I don't know what it is. I've never thankfully had a live animal brought to my classroom, but I've read about that before. Oh my gosh, like a kitten or a puppy, or I think somebody brought a bunny one time. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And they weren't being evil or nefarious or awful people. They just really wanted to bring their animal to school <laughs> and show it to people, I guess. But the poor baby that's in the backpack, ah, that'd be terrible. So, hmm. thankfully all my sneaky stuff that I found has been toys and gum and candy. Cell phones from parents sometimes, money. No weapons, thankfully, because I'm in a pre-K through two building. It's not really likely that a four to seven year old's gonna be packing thankfully. <laughs> Fidget spinners were outlawed in our school last year by the principal because they became a problem. Now I use them in my classroom for fluency and I just use them as a spinner. Not, you know, this way, but on the paper. So kids think that's really cool because they feel like they're doing something taboo. Just like if you have a class gum chewing time, they feel like they're getting to do something really super cool because it's like against the rules. Yeah. But you know, under supervision, certain things are okay. It just depends. All right, I'm gonna go and chat with you later. Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm getting ready to go celebrate Valentine's Day with my husband. So I haven't really been doing much today. I've been watching a little TV, hanging out on Instagram, Facebook, poking around on Pinterest, kind of planning some things out. So now we're getting ready to head out and have lunch together. It is about 10 till 2, so it's a late lunch. And then I want to pick up those project boards and stuff in my classroom so I can put math fill together. So I'll show you that if I do it today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. And then we'll probably come home. We might get a Redbox movie. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I'll check back in with you later. Hi, I'm here in my classroom picking up some stuff so I can work on Mathville at home and get these things done. So I've got my project boards right here and my store pieces and I've got my bond book so I can cut them out. I've grabbed a hole punch and binder ring so I can put those little um, brick pick things together. And I need to grab these papers here and then I'm ready to go. See our awesome tree of kindness? The kids made the leaves. They wrote something kind they've done for someone else or something someone's done for them. So cool. I'm satisfied, not exploding, but full enough. Caitlin has a meal here to go, and we got some chips and salsa too. And now we're gonna get head to Target and Menards.
here at the gas station. Exciting and fun. And we know how to live the high life, don't we? Party animals that we are. I have a to-go order for Caitlin. I think I mentioned that. I don't know if I did. She likes the black bean patty burgers from Chili's. The Southern Smokehouse Burgers, her favorite. And it's got fries. I think that's just it. And pickles and stuff. So that's in the back for her. Plus, I got an order of chips and salsa to go. Oh, my goodness. My earrings are getting caught. These are from Scarlet Jade Design. I love them. And they're so light. Because they're like foamy kind of fake leathery stuff or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's nice. They're nice and thin and very light. I have a Dollar Tree scarf on. And Caitlin told me last time I did this, I looked like a present. And I'm like, well, thank you. I'm the gift that keeps on giving. Sure. <laughs> we are headed home from our little date. And I will show you the cool stuff I found at Target. Now, I did not buy everything that I showed. And I didn't really show a whole lot because, honestly, there were a lot of people around. And it was hard, kind of hard to get in there and look at stuff. But I did find some cool things. I did, like I said, didn't buy everything. I tried to be kind of, I tried to think through what I was getting and why. They didn't have all of the pink Legos that I wanted to get and they had one package of green, I think. So I'll just go back another time. It's okay, no biggie. I was thinking it'd be good to have green ones for St. Patrick's Day coming up. So I will definitely go back and check because they'll get more in. I showed you what I got in my classroom so I can work on Mathville and I got some things at Target to go with Mathville. That'd be fun because they have spring things out. So, you know, that means flowers and gardening stuff. Mm -hmm. They had their Valentine stuff 70% off and I didn't go crazy. I know. Are you shocked? I was a little shocked. I was proud of myself. I didn't get a ton of stuff on clearance because really I have so much stuff. So much stuff. My goal this summer is to get all that stuff organized and put in like bins and drawers and things because of all that storage I brought home from my classroom. I should have plenty of space. I just need to organize it better because it's kind of a hot mess. And not even kind of, it's a total hot mess. <laughs> not even kidding. So I want to get all of that organized and put away in my like teacher closet. When I get that presentable, I will show you what that is. All it is is just a sectioned off part of the basement. Our basement's kind of strange. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's kind of strange. So it's really big. And we have like a living area that has the family room that's a pretty good size. And then we have a bathroom down there and there's a bedroom and a carpeted closet. But then like if you go through the bathroom, you can go to another closet, which is my teacher closet. We are back from Target and let me show you what I found. So we love these. These are so good. Black bean and garlic chips. Mm. I got these for my Mathville because part of the grocery store. I'm running low on parchment paper, and I use this anytime I bake anything on a cookie sheet. I thought Caitlin would like these. To put in her garden. And then these were in the clearance, I do believe. Yep. So, I should have waited to get these before, but a doctor said for my doctor's office, a mail set for the post office. I never saw this one before, look. It's like a veterinary set, how cute. I have an idea for that. And then, yeah, Legos, fake Legos. This looked like a really fun game, so I thought we'd try that. For the garden. Also for the garden. These were $3 a piece. These originally were five. They were $1.50. So I got two of these and I only had one of these, or I would have gotten two of these too, because there are 12 of each kind. And I figured probably the boys would like these and probably the girls would like these. So they can go in the treasure chest. They can buy those with bomb bucks, which I will be cutting out this weekend. And that's everything. Thanks for joining me. See you later.